Hello there, everybody. This is Seawop the Platinum One here, and welcome to my new Let's Play. This is Luigi's Mansion. One of four or five, I believe, GameCube launch titles. And one of my personal favorite games ever. So, let's get started. And don't worry, I did test out my memory card, and it did save. I was kind of hoping it... I don't know. I didn't have a cope... Bleh, I don't know. Okay. So, in here, something people don't know about is that there is actually a sneak peek of the game Pikmin, which is pretty cool. Yeah. I always freaking loved Pikmin as a kid. But anyways, though, let's start up a new game. Now, I actually decided to do Luigi's Mansion because, well, at the time I was kind of running out of ideas for games to LP. I mean, I already have, like, a bunch of them ready. But also, one of the reasons I decided to do this is because Haunted Mansion, no. It's because at the time of recording this, my Xbox 360 has a stupid E74 error, which basically means Red Ring of Death. <laughs> Actually, no, it only has one indicator, so I can't really LP Sonic Generations, which was one of the ones I plan to do next. But anyways, though... Enough of ranting about me and my stupid Xbox Xbox not working. Let's get started. Hmm. So we entered this mansion for whatever reason. Who knows, maybe Luigi wants to go exploring. Hmm. Anyways... Basically, you use the control stick to move, of course. You use the C stick to move the flashlight up or around. Pressing L or R does nothing, however. Xing, pressing X, mm -hmm. Y, or Z does nothing. Press B. Pressing B turns off and on the flashlight when you press it. Turns it off when you press it, I mean. And A, surprisingly, does not allow you to jump. I know, a Mario game you can't jump. Worst mm -hmm. game ever. No. Instead, it does this. Calls Mario. Mario. I wonder why. Maybe he's looking for Mario somewhere. Anyways, what you want to do first is go into a door. Oh, I can't open it. Oh my god. What was that? What was that noise? What is that noise? I must turn off the flashlight for suspense. What was that? It's an orange thingamabob! With a looped sound effect. Oh my god, a key! That's more interesting than the orange thingamabob. It is a mysterious key. Alright, so we got a key. And we can't go in here yet because it's blocked by webs, spider webs of power or something. I don't know. And I actually never noticed those candles going out before. I don't know. Which kind, of, which kind of begs the question, why is this candle on and not out? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway, so we can try going in there, but we can't go in there yet. So the only logical thing to do is to use that key. To open this door. Open the door. To quite possibly your doom. The parlor. Oh my god, it's scary! Oh my god, it's a ghost that looks generic. Oh man, hey, old man! Look at him go, man. Oh my goodness. Dude, you're not even doing it right, man. You should see the way I play this game. And he punched the sparks out of him. That's mean. Hey, old man, are you okay? Ouch. Oof. I sure took a lot of knocks in this line of work. Or take a lot. There. I'm getting too old for this goach catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. My name is Professor Egad. Elvin Gad, if you're really a Mario fan. This house, I swear it seems to have more ghosts every day. 
What's a young fellow like you doing around here, anywho? Oh no, more generic ghosts. Oh, this looks ugly. All right, youngster, look at lively. Follow me post haste. This guy's British. I like him already. So your name's Luigi, and he speaks Japanese too. He's awesome. By the way, I think that's Kazumi Takata voice. Apparently, I think the guy who composed the music for this game. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, to Luigi. Hmm. Where's this, you ask? Why, it's my outhouse, of course. I used to go to, go to the bathroom. Actually, no, it's Egat's ghost laboratory. The lab, if you have a shortening mind. You won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. So, you believe this mansion actually exists, then? Strange. I've been living here for since I was a lad of 20 or so. That's contradicting for those who have played Mario and Luigi Partners in time for the DS. And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you! I don't know if it's a dream or an illusion or what all, but I surely wouldn't be happy winning a haunted house. So now I gotta look for you, and I just recalled, a guy with a red hat like yours went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? Thanks for dissing Mario in the first Mario game on the GameCube, aside from Smash Brothers. What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible! He wouldn't stand a chance against any of those ghosts without my help. What do you mean? You could just step on them! You have to go after him! Here's the plan. I'll teach you how to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Alright, so here's our controls. Now you can see on L, we can shoot... We apparently have this ability to shoot fire, water, or ice. We can't do that until much later. By the way, I'm probably not going to show this, but if you wait on the screen for about three minutes, you hear the famous Kazumi whatever tune that you'll hear in a lot of games he's composed. So, yeah, that's basically our controls. And here's another setting, sidestep. I don't normally use sidestep, nor am I a big fan of FPSs, even though I played GoldenEye. <laughs> but whatever. That's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it the, this is genius, the Poltergeist 3000. Get it, it's Poltergeist, her, her. It can suck up the ghosts and all kinds of things. Let it rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. So just like with the flashlight, you can basically do this. Your power depends on how, how well you push down the R button, by the way. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be taught using conventional means. Yeah, by obviously jumping on them. So, better you hear this. It's the only way to foil them. That's the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. <clears throat> How about we get started on your training? Ghosts like the Dongus, so they try to avoid light. And you get a new flashlight, and all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily. And then it's vacuuming time. And we have to use the, uh, the control. There. Okay, so. This is basically what you have to do. When fighting ghosts. Oh, there he is. You have to shine your flashlight on them, and then use the R, then use the R button to suck them up, or hold the R button and use the control stick in the opposite direction. There are all other kinds of ghosts besides those ones called in Golden Ghosts. So, which are the weakest, by the way? Well, not necessarily the weakest. There are weaker ones, but we'll be getting into those later. When a ghost heart appears, vacuum up with the 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 the. the. You can also use the C stick to that effect. However, I don't think it really works in that context. You are indeed allowed to miss a few and during this training session. I'm just doing these really awesomely. The more the better. Okay, got it. And... Wait. Shouldn't there be two? Okay, I guess there aren't two. Alright. I was kind of thinking there would be, like, more than one, but nope. Ghosts love to hide on the dark, so is that a hoot? There, here they come. Alright. Five of them. Okay, let's see if I can get five of them. I remember if I... I don't remember if I did this before, but... I think I got five and one. There we go! Haha! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Dang! And find... Flash the sign... There. Shine the flashlight at the audience. Thank you. Yeah, let's see. Did I get all of them? Yeah, I did. I got all ten. Awesome! And that's the first time since, well, 
God knows how many months ago that I did this. Actually, I still have the game disc from when I got it way back into 2001. Jeez. I didn't even realize this before, like when I got my GameCube for my birthday. And yes, I'm playing this on a GameCube, no Wii or anything, because we stupid bleh. Even though I used it in my past god knows how many LPs. Alright, so this is the little gallery. And it looks pretty empty, don't you say? Yeah, all these paintings are gone. What could have happened to them? Let's try to talk to him to see if we can find anything out. Welcome to the gallery. I once had 21 paintings in my famous ghost collection, but there are only frames. What a crying shame. Unfortunately, though, there are only statues now, but feel free to look around anyway. Blah, blah, blah. And he says we have a Game Boy Horror now. So we can press X to use our Game Boy Horror, and we can press A to look at things. Or scan them, rather. Like this. I scanned it! Ugh, whatever. <laughs> it's a statue. A very tall angel statue by the looks of it. Um, we can also use Y to get a to get a basic map of the... Thing. And, as you can see here, there are... There are three other rooms. The one with the ladder is obviously the one with... Where we entered. That one, I think, to the right of the entrance, is the, uh... It's the training room? I'm not sure. And the one that, that he got us blocking the door to? We never actually see that room. Jeez. Alright, so let's ask where am I? This is the gallery. This is where I hang my paintings. Ghost paintings, that is. When I was young, I designed a machine to turn ghosts into paintings. And I traveled the world collecting them. Oh, that was glamorous, I tell you. But then, oh, I have to tell you, it's a horrifying story. The last ghost I caught was number 22, Bulasis. And there are a lot of boos, and King Boo rallied them up to take revenge upon me. They used my machine to free Bulasis from their painting, and they all turned all my other portraits back into ghosts too. And as if that weren't enough, they built a mansion in front of my lab in the space of a single night, and then they all hid inside. If I told anybody about this, I, they probably had me committed. <laughs> so, basically we have our mission. Not only do we have to find Mario, but we also have to find all the portrait ghosts as well. So let's go back to the lab. Now you can go back to the training room to look to train some more. However, I want to go to the mansion now because, well, training rooms are stupid. And that mansion kind of looks like a dragon. <laughs> And he's like, bye-bye, I hope you have fun, hope you don't die. Yeah, recycled shots for the win. And hello, familiar spotted one. <laughs> Where'd you go, Mario? <laughs> huh, Luigi? Wow, it's Luigi, you finally made it! Oh, joy, thank goodness! Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. Yeah, you obviously have a good security, Princess. Just make sure you get captured on the way out. He left when he heard a mansion, and he never returned. Then when I arrived here, the there, okay. And he didn't see Mario anyway, so I kind of freaked out a little. A little? Dude, you were freaking breaking down on the floor. Please, 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 you have to help find Mario. If you don't get back, you know, I'll set the Princess over. She'll flip. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm so very blue. I'm blue. I'm a diva. I die. Well, if you're blue, then I don't want to know what red is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll help you out. Leave it to me. Because I'm the hero, apparently. And it's very rare that Luigi gets a game all to himself. All right. So, totes will help us save our game. So, basically, totes are save points. Now, I'm not going to save right now. Just because I kind of want to get this recording out of the way. So yeah, and as you can see on the Game Boy Horror, uh, Game Boy Color, yeah, on the Game Boy Color, you have monetary values, coins, dollars, and gold bars in descending order. Coins are money in this game, of course. Dollars are money, and gold bars are money. And of course, you can check for money by, by ta checking things, tapping them, yada, 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 all that jazz. And chandelier, you gotta move. Money! 
Must get the monies. Now, in order to make a room all lit up, you have to beat all the ghosts. You always want to check for money, of course, because, well, basically, based upon the money, you get ranked in this game for money. If you want the perfect ending to this game, rank A, you want to get as much money as possible. So, now with that out of the way, let's blow all these candles. And monies, monies, must get monies. Blowing out candles is important, but now we gotta get monies, monies, monies. <laughs> who to who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here. Yes, they love the dark, and they will get you. Blah. Now you're in for it. Blah. Just like little red cap before you. May you wander lost in darkness forever! Are you afraid of the dark little man? Are you? Huh? Blah! Here they are now! Die! Die, ghost! You don't belong in this world! Actually, you belong in this world, but... That's not the point. The point is that... Some of these later... In some of these later parts, there are going to be tougher ghosts, and I really, really hope my Dazzle doesn't screw up. Because, well... As you all could have guessed. Thanks for making me lose 5 HP already in the first episode. That's got to be some kind of record. It's got to be a record. I don't know. Anyways, though. Key and stuff. So as you can see, we have a map of the mansion. And look. This mansion is huge. There's going to be a lot of rooms to explore. Plus a roof. So yeah, I hope you have fun with this game. Anyways, this is going to be our last room for today. And basically put, you have the same animation as before. Anyways, let's check here. There's a heart. Okay, cool. You have 100 HP in this game. If you lose all of it, it's game over, of course. Thanks for making me lose the damage I just regained, by the way. You can also check in these things for money or heart. Ooh, go bar. Awesome. And over here is a new ghost, a pink puncher, or rather a purple puncher in the U.S. Yes, because obviously pink ghosts are purple. Apparently. And that doesn't symbolize anything at all. Yeah. Two is something. I forget how that song goes. Dollars. Daras. Must have Dara. Why do I keep saying Dara? I, I don't know why. I've been saying Dara right instead of Dara. I must... I must have Asian blood or something. <laughs> Anyways, though, since that was our last room, we're going to stop this episode here. And we've begun our little quest to find Mario. And do more stuff. And Luigi, stop looking up like you have autism like me. <laughs> I don't know why. I just look up at the sky sometimes. Oh, my God. I'm looking at it right now. <laughs> All right. So... Next time on Let's Play Luigi's Mansion, we're going to further explore this mansion to find some trace of the portrait ghosts, and hopefully Mario. So see you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. What is Luigi's head doing? I mean, yeah, it's supposed to go, like, in a swaying motion, but it's like looking up. Okay, alright, goodbye.